Uh, so good evening, everyone. We, the admissions and PR team of SMHRD Pune, welcome you all to the flagship event that is uh, Aspirant Outreach Drive, Sculpting Dreams and Aspirations. I am Deepa Das, currently pursuing my MBA in Business Analytics. I have 32 months of work in Vedanta Resources, and here is my team. Good evening, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. So my name is G. Jatin, and I'm currently pursuing sales and marketing. Uh, I previously worked at Deloitte USI, and I scored 99 percentile in my SNAP exam. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Dishneet Kaur Gill, and I'm currently pursuing MBA in HR, and my SNAP percentile was 98.3. Good evening, everyone. My name is Shreya Sehgal. I'm currently pursuing my MBA with a specialization in human resources, uh, and I'm a fresher. I completed my graduation in 2021, and I'm a 97.25 percentile in SNAP 2021. Uh, thank, you, uh, thank you everyone for taking out time uh, and in showing interest in our event aspirant outreach drive wherein we are connecting to aspirants to display about snap pattern snap tips and tricks and also basically our experiences as to how we crack the entire process of snap okay so uh, you all can feel free to you know type out your queries meanwhile uh, in the chat box and we can take out any queries which you have regarding the snap pattern this year or how we uh, you know uh, sorted our snap preparation last year how we went about it as aspirants and we will go about it uh, taking up those queries throughout as we go through the session So guys, you must be wondering, uh, you know, our experience in a B-School this year, considering, uh, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic, I think, uh, you know, when considering everything went online for the past couple of years, uh, it was very difficult. And when we did come on campus, I think the experience has been absolutely amazing. Uh, so, I mean, uh, when we did come on campus, everything changed. We, uh, our experience with, you know, socializing with everyone as well as hostel life and or, you know, the food and the mess. I think I'm someone who's lived in the same city for, or, you know, many years. And for, or, you know, me to go to a different city altogether was, or, you know, absolutely enlightening. So I think you guys should look forward to that because you would get to go on campus. Okay, so while the PPT is getting, you know, adjusted, we are, will be start, we'll start answering your questions. I'll start with Rishi Kamgar. Uh, we're asking, hey guys, what's the cutoff for SMHRD for any course? Okay, so the cutoff actually changes every year and like based on, you know, the level of the examination. So cutoff keeps changing every year, but for SMHRD, it is always on the upside of 97 percent. Okay, uh, so thank you guys for bearing with our slight technical glitch. Our screen is back. So uh, we are going to be talking about the snap pattern a little now. So uh, as you all know that snap is at its core a very speed based exam, unlike other management entrance examinations. This year as well, we have a, a duration of 60 minutes for the exam, wherein you have to attempt a total of 60 questions, which gives you as an aspirant a time duration of one minute per question to answer the exam. This year, the major change from SNAP 2021 is that an aspirant can appear for three SNAP attempts instead of two. That means that the best score out of your three attempts will be considered as your final SNAP score. And that is a great, great golden opportunity for you all to maximize your score and maximize your percentile. The SNAP pattern this year will comprise of general English, which will include RCs, verbal reasoning, and verbal ability. 
15 questions for one marks per question. We have 25 questions from analytical and logical reasoning and 20 questions from quantitative data interpretation and data sufficiency, thus giving you a total of 60 questions. It is also an important point to make here that every wrong answer in SNAP 2022 will attract a minus 0.25 or 25% negative marks. And every correct answer would actually uh, fetch you plus one mark. Now coming on to the SNAP timeline. Now, if you all haven't registered for SNAP already, I would really urge you to scan the QR code on the screen or click the link www.snaptest.org, which would also be shared in the chat box shortly. Uh, our registration for SNAP commenced on August 4th, 2022, uh, and our registration will close soon, which is November 24th. So please ensure that you all have registered for the exam prior to that, uh, and the payment also will close on the same day. Uh, this year, the admit card will go live on December 5th, and uh, your three slots of SNAP will be on December 10th, 18th, and December 23rd. Now, major difference from last year's SNAP to this year's SNAP is that the gap between the two successive slots is not a large gap. So that does not leave you a large you know, leeway to leave any preparation for that week. So that would be a personal suggestion as well, that you keep your preparation uh, you know, top-notch and up-to-date before the first attempt itself so that you do not have any pending topics for these weeks in between. Our SNAP 2022 result will be announced on January 10th, 2023, which is also quite earlier as compared to how it was announced in 2022. So uh, we'll pause here for five, minute, five seconds. You can scan the screen QR code if you want, and then we'll commence to the next slide. Okay. I think Jashneen can take up the syllabus. Yes. So now uh, coming up to the syllabus of the SNAP examination. And also before I begin, uh, if you guys want, you can take a screenshot of the same. Uh, so yeah, it, it comprises of three sections, like every other management and entrance examination. We've got verbal ability and general, general English, which involves synonyms and antonyms, fill in the blanks, idioms and phrases, uh, identifying parts of speech, parajumbles and all, and reading comprehension. Reading comprehension can also be in the form of poetry. Like uh, last year, there were two questions where you had to do reading comprehension from the poetry itself, which uh, can seem very easy, but a lot of practice is required for the same. Uh, then the second section is logical reasoning, which involves blood relations, clocks and calendars, analogy, series, coding and decoding. And then we have the quantitative and the data interpretation section, which has inequalities, arithmetic, algebra, surgeon, and indices. Uh, so yeah, this is basically the syllabus of the SNAP examination. In case you guys have any questions regarding that, you can put that in the chat box. We'll take them up later. Okay, so now coming on to the uh, symbiosis selection process. So the SNAP test is over by December, and on as Shreyas mentioned, on 10th January, we have our results. So the 60 marks of the SNAP examination are scaled down to 50. And the other 50 are VAT and GEPI, GEPI VAT. So GE is group exercise, and which involves uh, where you'll be sitting in a group, like it's like a GD, so it, uh, it's 10 marks. Then we have the personal interaction. Okay, so this is different from the personal interview. Personal interaction is where the uh, interviewer actually sees who you are as an individual. Because, uh, you know, when you are doing an MBA, you will be future managers. You are the leaders of the world in the future. So it's very important that you have those qualities. And so personal interaction actually brings out who you are. So it is worth 30 marks. And for 10 marks, we have the written ability test or the VAT, where you have to write and uh, you know, you'll be given a pictographical thing or a small paragraph where you have to uh, write and a small essay on that. The total of this 50 marks of the SNAP test and the 50 for GE5 VAT comes up to 100, and uh, the score out of which will actually decide who, if you get into the merit, weight, or reject list. Okay, so uh, here are a few myths with respect to this map examination. So uh, I would just like to ask you guys one question that uh, you can see the myths on the screen, right? Do you, do you believe in any of those? If yes, then please mention which one do you think that you know, is an actual true myth as for you.
uh, you all can take up the chat box and give out the myths that you think can be true and we can go forward with it yeah we have some answers coming the last one okay so different slots have different difficulty level okay easy compared to scat okay yeah guys we can take up your uh, answers for the myth in the chat box so feel free to give your answers in the chat box okay so moving on okay uh, yeah. when we say that uh, when i take abhishek pratap singh uh, he says that he believes that it's easy compared to cat so i would like to you know debunk this myth for everyone saying that a preparation of snack is slightly different from cat because uh, in cat Uh, the major focus is on aptitude and uh, you know depth of a concept whereas in snap it's more about speed and accuracy and how precisely you pick choose and answer questions so that makes it a tricky exam and i also see um, yes angana uh, you rightly pointed out it's a speed based exam uh, also talking about the second myth which a lot of you are typing in the chat box that preparation of snap can be done last minute now uh, when we talk about the general aspirant uh, opinion they usually you know focus their attention to snap after they're done with other management exams but that is not you know a very feasible or favorable way to go about it because uh, a lot of topics as jashneet showed you in the previous slide which uh, are from lr like clocks and calendars sequences and series number and letter series analogies syllogisms all of these topics are usually just snap specific topics and you need a separate you know time of the day where you're sitting with those uh, practice materials and you're practicing those topics in particular in in my personal uh, journey as an aspirant i gave attention to those specific topics uh, and i did not keep them for the last minute talking about the entrance exam being easier for engineers now this is also a very very big myth in our personal opinion we can share with you that uh, around 40% of non engineers are present in the current scmhrd batch uh, we have people from varied academic backgrounds b schools today you know they value diversity of all sorts we have people from uh, commerce arts uh, architecture engineering and even uh, some people from the medical field which have been in a part of our institute in the previous few years so that's where i would like to debunk this myth uh, fourthly as you all can uh, as you all are typing in the chat i can see that g pivat requires no preparation i saw that once so um, that definitely is something which requires pre preparation as you cannot just bank on your snap percentile Uh, your ultimate conversion of an institute under the symbiosis umbrella will depend on your performance in how you are able to put forth your opinion in the group exercise and how you are able to present yourself as an individual during the personal interview rounds so guys i'm seeing a lot of questions in the chat box wherein you're asking us how we club together cat or cn and math exam to actually you know uh, go ahead and attempt snap so you know what i would like to say is i think you have to be regular with respect to your mock I think uh, two months uh, before snap, you have to be, you know, consistent and consistently work towards getting accustomed to the snap pattern. I think that's very important. Uh, also, just consistently prepare for the topics that aren't in these major entrance exams and prepare separately as well for some of the topics that are snap specific. Uh, so that's what I would do. You have to be a good multitasker during this period. So uh, try to attempt mocks as well as prepare separately for whatever entrance exams that uh, you all are planning on pursuing. and coming to the last snap myth that different slots have different difficulty level now i'm sure that a lot of your friends uh, you know in the coaching institute uh, that you visit would be telling you that uh, you know the slot 1 was easier last year or slot 2 was easier uh, we would like to tell you that uh, that is purely a myth as all the three slots of snap have the same difficulty level you know that is ensured from the end of the university that there is no variance in the level of difficulty Uh, so that everyone is on a level playing field so uh, please do not believe in that rumor and you will get you know a same kind of uh, level of difficulty in every slot that you appear for and you have to focus on giving your best in every slot
Okay, so guys, okay. now we have a very interesting quiz for you guys, and uh, you can. Uh, so this is a quiz. There are six questions, and you have to answer that in ten minutes. And there are exciting goodies that await you. So please scan the QR code, and also sir will be sharing the link in the chat box shortly, and you can access that, and uh, you can start answering the quiz. And we'll be announcing the winner at the end of the session. And while you are answering the quiz, we'll be taking up a few of your questions. And Jatin, you can begin. Guys, so this quiz will actually give you a taste as to what's going to come in the SNAP exam. I think uh, in a couple of months, uh, everyone's going to be very busy, uh, you know, attempting these entrance exams. So all I would like to say is take up the quiz. It's going to take a few minutes of your time, and I think uh, you know you'll get a flavor of what's to come in the SNAP exam. So we'll be taking up a few questions as well. So uh, Deepa, if you could go ahead. Uh, yeah, thank you, Jatin. We have a question from Priyambada Pathak. Her question is that, what would you suggest of how many attempts should we uh, take this year? Priyambada, as we have uh, rightfully mentioned, that uh, this year uh, the university has allowed you all to attempt uh, a maximum of uh, three uh, SNAP exams. So it will be very feasible for you so that you can grab this opportunity and attempt all the three uh, SNAP exams so that you stand at a very uh, equal and leveled ground for your selection into Symbiosis as a whole. Uh, so it is favorable and best uh, in the interest of all the aspirants to attempt all the three mocks, uh, all the three SNAP exams. There's okay. also another question uh, from Harsh Shukla, who asks that how can I prepare for the English section as he doesn't uh, have a great vocabulary. So Harsh, uh, you know, uh, vocabulary can be developed in multiple ways and uh, reading, reading the newspaper regularly is one tip that you can follow. Apart from that, there's also another, uh, you know, source called a book called Word Power Made Easy, which you can refer for uh, improving your vocabulary. And also, apart from that, regular mocks and regular sectional mocks of the vocabulary section will help you ace the vocab section. So another tip that I have for the vocab section is, uh, you know, when I was preparing for all these entrance exams when I was an aspirant, I think uh, it's important that you all read regularly. Apart from novels, I think take up a newspaper. I would read the Hindu every day uh, and I would, you know, read the editorial section as well. Um, so I think it's very important that you all read regularly, try to you know, improve your vocabulary. Uh, Shreyas mentioned that uh, you could take up a uh, word power made easy by Norman Lewis. I think that's one book that actually helps build and improve your vocabulary. So those are some of the points you could take up if you want to improve in your verbal ability section. Uh, guys, uh, we are just waiting for you so that you can attempt the question. These questions are in line with our uh, SNAP exam pattern. So in order to give uh, get a crisp idea about how uh, snap pattern will be and how prepared you are for the snap exam you can go ahead and scan the particular qr code you can even take up the link in the chat box and attempt uh, the quiz as well it will it will be a very good chance for you to get a peephole into snap exam and big goodies await for you at the end of the session uh, moving forward we have a question from abhishek pratap singh uh, his question is that, will it be easier for people who are preparing for bank exams as syllabus is quite similar? Abhishek, uh, uh, I won't say it will be easy or not. I would, be, I would say that it will be a great opportunity for every person, irrespective of whether preparing for banking exam, being an engineer, being a fresher, being an art student. It will be a great opportunity for, for a person aiming for management to have an MBA degree to attempt this particular exam and get into a university like uh, SIU will be a very good opportunity for him or her. So if given a chance uh, and you get uh, into the, uh, you do well in your SNAP exam, you get into SMHRD, a lot of a holistic uh, MBA environment awaits for you. So I would particularly say that it's not about being easier, it is about the opportunity that this particular exam awaits uh, for you guys. Okay. Uh, so I'd like to take up a question by Shivansh Joshi. He's asking, how did you guys parallelly manage that in Snapchat? So Shivansh, uh, to answer your question, what I personally did was I enrolled myself into a lot of mock test series. So what that helped me get into uh, get in touch with the pattern of the different exams. 
so uh, as we all know there are different management entrance examinations so when we give the mocks we have the mocks are actually even crack you offers a free mock so you can give that and given multiple mocks actually helps you get in touch with how the pattern of the exam goes and that eventually helps you during the examination as well because during the month of november and december anyway the exam you know they are there every weekend given mocks beforehand uh, will help you a lot so i can see a few questions in the chat box with respect to quants and you know being weak in quants i think uh, one thing that you have to do with respect to quants is uh, brush up on your basics try to build your basics and after building up on the basics towards september october november then you can start working on your mocks uh, i've uh, even uh, seen a question with respect to the ideal number of mocks to be uh, you know taken up i think in the month of september you can go ahead with two mocks a week and as you know uh, november and october come up you can start you know amplifying your studies and try taking up more number of mocks per week so it all is uh, you know subject to whether you have time on your hands if you're working then try to take up uh, you know two mocks a week but uh, if you're free and if you're uh, you know only focusing on cracking these entrance exams this year then i would uh, suggest that you take up more number of mocks maybe four so uh, that would be the advice that i would give you Uh, there's another question by uh, Maraz Ban who says that do previous academics play a role in selection process for SCMHRD? Uh, so I would like to answer that question. Uh, so definitely they do have an impact in the overall selection. Uh, as you would know that the eligibility for the MBA program is 50% marks minimum in your undergraduate degree. Uh, however, more focus or emphasis is laid on your SNAP percentile as well as your performance in GEPI VWAT. Which is fifty and fifty percent each. So basically, uh, if you do not have great accads, our suggestion would be to focus your, you know, best performance in your ex written exam as well as your further processes, so that you uh, do not let that academic factor be a hindrance to your profile. And also, if you have, uh, you know, internships or any key projects, uh, showcasing them in the personal interview will be a great addition. uh we have an, uh, another question from nikita her question is that can a fresher make it to uh, symbiosis university to be in particular so uh, nikita yes we have a great diversity of uh, students over here from freshers to engineers to architects to fashion technology grads and even to bcom and arts people so we have our representative uh, shreyas who is also a fresher and doing quite well when it comes to mba and hr as a specialization so yes being a fresher or not you stand at a very good ground to get into symbiosis university and get into scm hrd as well it's all about how much efforts you put on to your preparations how well you attempt your exams and your gpi what rounds that makes you stand at a level ground to get into scm hrd and symbiosis university as well i think guys your time is up and we can move ahead uh, with our presentation i hope all of you got uh, a very good uh, amount of time and exposure to learn about how the snap pattern will be so moving forward with our discussion jatin can you move forward yeah so i'll be talking about our college uh, sambhi also center for management and human resource development better known as scmhrd so at scmhrd you know uh, i was someone like i already said at the start uh, you know i was someone who'd lived in the same city for over you know 22 23 years of my life and uh, you know coming into this campus this beautiful campus at njwrd you know our facilities that we have are unparalleled we have great sports facilities ranging from a basketball court to a general sports area or even a place to play volleyball as well so you know you can see the students in our campus playing these sports across and we believe in a well rounded curriculum where a health promoting campus so we also believe in you know individuals having a great academic uh, you know profile but also you know focusing on their physical well being as well um our campus life after you know the covid 19 pandemic and actually coming on to campus has been really great uh you know socializing with people from various parts of the country you know we have a very diverse uh batch this year you know uh, we even dubbed it as you know the little india because you know we have people ranging from the north from delhi to assam to you know places in the south hyderabad chennai mumbai so you know uh, the batch profile is very varied and uh, you know interacting with people from you know various parts of the country has been enlightening 
also you know we have uh, our hostel facilities are really great uh, you know uh, we have some of the best hostel facilities we have a great auditorium uh, we have a gym with uh, you know various facilities and we also have a swimming pool as well so now uh, about SEM HRD we were established in 1993 and uh, it is one of the most prestigious mba programs in the country also uh, we are as csp accredited so what that means is uh, that we have the best in class faculty so you know personally uh, for me uh, when i was uh, you know in my undergraduate degree you know concepts were thought but very superficially but here in an mba uh, you can feel that you know uh, the faculty as well as the curriculum has really stepped up so uh, that's been you know something really exciting for me uh, what sets us apart at smhrd we are a student driven culture we have 14 clubs and committees and all these clubs and committees are run by the students themselves uh, we are ranked number 4 on unstop um and also you know we are one of the top 20 b schools in the country uh we have a student exchange program as well wherein you can go abroad for a semester uh and we are, we have tie ups with uh, the berlin school of economics so yeah that's something about that can we move to the next slide please so uh, a little about uh, the courses provided here at smhrd uh, we have mbas with specializations in hr sales and marketing finance operations and strategy innovation as well as entrepreneurship uh, we have an mba in business analytics and an mba in infrastructure development and management so those are some of the courses that are offered at tcm hrd uh, as you can see we have a few stats with the second best b school in pune we have fifth school of eminence uh, amongst the private schools second best b school in the west amongst the private schools with the fifth best b school uh, amongst the national cluster so uh, that's a few stats that we would like to tell you we don't want to bore you too much with stats so can we please move on to the next slide Okay, so uh, so I want to ask you guys one question. How many of y'all have watched Shark Tank India? Y'all can you know type it in the chat box. And uh, you can also type uh, in the chat box who was your favorite shark or any particular deal that. Uh, Ashneed, okay. Aman, yeah, okay. Okay. We don't uh, have any Piyush Bansal fans here. Anyone? <laughs> Sugar, okay. Aman, Vinita, great, great, great guys. Ashneed and Piyush. Okay, so guys, I think we have loads and loads of Ashneed fans in this uh, group as well. Okay, uh, so moving forward, uh, as you can see, that SMHRD has a, a illustrious alumni network of around six thousand five hundred plus alumni. Our alumni is like Mr. Anish Basu Roy from the batch of two thousand six, who was the founder of. In the 2005 batch, she was Mr. Miss Vidushi Vijayvargya, who is the founder of Ishak Fragrances. She also got uh, a chance and bagged the deal in the recently concluded uh, Shark Tank India. Apart from uh, her, we have Miss Mega Goel, who is the CHRO of Godrej Properties. So we have Mr. Komal Anand, who is the managing director of Lotte Have Not. and to name the company we will have our alumni is in their top most management positions so if you guys get a chance to crack the snap and get into scm hrd you will be uh, getting into this legacy you will be experiencing this legacy when you join scm hrd you will also get a chance to get mentored by our illustrious alumni is where you will be getting a chance to interact with them through our guest lecture sessions through our uh, day to day class legacy of alumni network and even get a chance to be a part of uh, this network as well so moving forward coming to the placement at uh, scm hrd uh, the placement at scm hrd is divided into three parts that is the uh, placements at mba core 
then we have the uh, placements for mba business analytics and mba for uh, and placements for mba infrastructure development and management uh, the highest domestic package for mba course stands at 35.50 lakhs the highest international package stands at 61.50 lakhs with an average of 20.40 lakhs and a medium of 20 lakhs for mba business analytics our highest package stands at 32 lakhs and our average uh, ctc stands at 17.30 lakhs with a medium ctc of 16.95 lakhs similarly for infrastructure development and management we are at 26.50 lakhs highest ctc and for average we stand at 14.31 lakhs and the median ctc stands at 14.00 lakhs moving forward Okay, so this I think you guys can take up a screenshot of uh, this particular slide and we'll just play up a small game in which I request you all to name a particular thing that you see around yourself. It can be a bottle, it can be a mobile phone, it can be your laptop itself, it can be any particular software. So we can have a small interaction in the chat box where you can give up the names of the products that you see all around. And just and we'll just move forward with this particular slide. Pen. Okay. Ketan says uh, about a pen. Okay. Anyone else? Apple. Okay. Remote. Okay. Yes, guys. I think we can keep it a bit uh, more interactive so that we can get a chance to know you all. How aware you are about your surrounding, about your uh, environment and all that you have a bucket okay you have a watch okay great guys any more responses spectacles okay wallet fan okay great airpods okay okay great 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 guys okay so uh, scmhrd feels very uh, takes pride in giving out its esteemed recruiters and our students have been successful enough in bagging quite uh, good bucks of money and packages uh, when it comes to these particular companies we have companies ranging from conglomerate to uh, textile industries to manufacturing sectors to medicine sector to pharmaceutical sector to ana uh, analytics sector we have companies ranging from Adobe to Oyo to Nivea, Optum, Mahindra, Deloitte, Voice, Wellspun, uh, IBM. You name the company and we have it in our campus. So if given a chance, you guys get a chance to enter into SCMHRD, you will be having a fair ground to participate and compete to get a chance and uh, get a position and secure a position in these particular companies. We have uh, these companies taking up students for the role of management trainees, for strategies, for risk analysts, for financial analysts, to uh, different tech analysts. So if given a chance, this will be this SMHRD will provide you a great chance of giving out uh, a, a chance to you to get into these uh, high sounding companies itself. Moving forward. Okay, so I'll be I'll be talking about SCMHRD wheel. So you know, you guys must be wondering how these companies are going to take notice of you. How how to improve your CV in a way uh, so that you know not only companies but colleges as well start taking notice of you. So we present to you SCMHRD wheel 4.0. Um, so what is wheel? I think that must be one of the questions that's popping up in all your minds. So uh, wheel is a case study competition uh, that is hosted by SCMHRD Pune. And uh, the first round kicks off with an online quiz round. Um, so the online quiz basically will give you a taste of the snap pattern that everyone I'm assuming is going to be attempting in the month of December. And this quiz would be uh, of 30 minutes with 30 questions with the topics like QA, VA, RC, as well as LR. So all the topics that you're already preparing for, but you know, just with respect to the snap pattern. Moving on, once you, you know, qualify after the online quiz, you would move on to the case study submission round. The case study submission round, uh, you would be given a business uh, case study uh, that, and, and you would get mentorship from you know, MBA students as well as faculty. That would be the second round. After the second round, the lucky uh, winners would move on to the final round, which would be a case presentation round. And that round would be hosted at SEMHRD Pune. It would be an all expenses paid trip where a few lucky winners would uh, reach SEMHRD Pune and they would actually present 
their case study in, in front of you know an esteemed uh, group of panelists. Um, so what I would say is I think you guys should look forward to uh, not only the online quiz but also you know the case presentation round at SCMHRD because you would actually get to live the life of uh, you know an MBA student. You would uh, you know get to live in the hostels. You would get to eat the food that we eat in the mess. Um, so you know there are various opportunities for you to gauge. Uh, you would obviously get a chance to win cash prizes worth rupees ten thousand, and uh, like I already mentioned, it would also help in boosting your CV, uh, so that companies as well as you know colleges would take notice of you. So yeah. we have a QR code, and uh, I would request everyone to scan the QR code and register for SMHRD Zeal. We would also be posting a link in the chat box for the same. Uh, we'll be freezing this particular screen for some time, and uh, you guys and you guys can use that time to scan the particular QR code and even travel to the link that is pasted uh, in the chat box and register for Zeal. Uh, in accordance to that, uh, we can also take up uh, some questions uh, from the chat box. Uh, we have a question from Krish and also from Abhishek. Uh, both the questions are in the same line related to workex. Like Krish has a workex of 24 months and Abhishek has a workex of 2.5 uh, years. Uh, uh, and they are particularly asking that uh, is it good enough to do uh, MBA or not? Uh, so Krish and Abhishek, uh, I would just give out my story. Like I have like 2.5. 2.6 years of work ex in Vedanta and post that I decided to carry on with my MBA journey and I registered for this particular SNAP exam and I ultimately got into SCMHRD. So uh, the, uh, two point with two years and two years prior work ex you stand at a very good uh, chance given that you perform well in your SNAP exams and in your GPI what rounds. So uh, your SNAP uh, particularly, Symbiosis particularly gives out a cumulative score for all of its student. The cumulative score is a combination of your ACADs, that is your 10th and 12th and your undergrad. Similarly, your WORKEX, if any, your SNAP score, similarly, and your uh, GPI, what round the uh, uh, marks. A uh, total of this will be cumulated to a mark of 100 and from that you will be scaled to whether you get a chance to get into SMHRD or not. So with two years of work X, that particular amount of points will be added to your cumulative point. So I think this answers your question. But I would also like to answer that whether you are a fresher, uh, then you also stand, uh, stand at a very good chance to get into SMHRD. This is because uh, whether fresher or work X, it's all about what you do on the day day that is on the SNAP exam and how you perform well on your GPI word rounds that marks on whether you get into SMHRD or not. So it is basically a more holistic approach towards getting into SMHRD than just concentrating on one particular point. So guys, I would just like to reiterate that the last date to register of SMHRD deal has been extended to 17th September 11.59 p.m. So we just have a couple of hours to go before registration is closed for SMHRD deal. It, it's a great opportunity for you to boost your CV and uh, you know the registration is free of cost. Uh, so we would not be charging you anything and it's a chance, uh, it's a win-win situation for you guys. So I think you should go ahead and click the link in the chat box or scan the QR code uh, as, my, as you can see on the screen. Uh, so come on guys, I'm expecting, you know, a large amount of registration from this live chat. Uh, meanwhile, I would also like to take up a question. So a lot of you are asking the question as to what was the cutoff for getting into SMHRD last year. So uh, we cannot, you know, comment or, in, or, or pinpoint one particular number as to you know predict what will be the cutoff for this year. But the general pattern past few years has been that uh, the SCMHRD cutoff has hovered around 97 plus percentile. Uh, and that is the same pattern that we expect this year as well. Uh, and there's also another question by Harsh Shukla asking about in specific about the infrastructure development and management program. Uh, so Harsh, you can visit our website, which has, uh, you know, you'll find details about the eligibility for IDM course because it's a very niche course. Uh, as of now, the eligibility for IDM is that you need to be a civil engineer or an architect to apply for the course. Uh, and, uh, you know, even the cutoffs and all uh, information about all of that can be found on our website for IDM. 
uh, and it's a very niche course offering uh, very niche roles in logistics supply chain or, or on site project management and even you know uh, infrastructure specific companies are visiting campus for the same so i would suggest you to visit the website for further details so ashi i'll take up a question ashish mishra asks what is the different club that at cmhrd to be a member at so ashish i would like to say that uh, you can check our official uh, cmhrd website uh, and on the website under student life you can check all our clubs and committees for example uh, we the students of cmhrd are a part of the admissions and pr committee uh, so we handle the whole end to end admission process here at cmhrd so that gives you an example of the student driven culture here at cmhrd everything from the sports com uh, to to the place com to everything here at cmhrd student driven so that's what i would like to say about the same for more details you can visit our official website or uh, the link to which would be posted in the chat box Yeah. Uh, so we have Pratik who has asked that uh, I'm a fresher with two years gap. Uh, is it affect on interview selection process? Okay, so uh, you are a fresher with two years gap. So I like Pratik, if you can justify the gap, if there's some value addition, like I myself was a UPSC aspirant, I had that is considered as a gap year, right? And I'm doing MBA right now. So you know, if you can justify the gap that you have had some value addition that you have. Use it to better yourself and can actually show it during the PI. Your gap will not go against you. To be very honest. So adding on to Jashni's point, uh, you know, even I have a gap of one year. So I think uh, a gap is not detrimental to joining any B school unless you can't justify it. I think if you have a valid justification, um, I think you should be all good, all set to you know join the dream B school that you aspire to be. Uh, so guys, we have. Uh... many questions related to zeal 4.0 in the chat box uh, so basically guys the uh, zeal uh, we had the uh, deadline for zeal uh, on 16th itself we have extended for uh, uh, one more year so today 17th is the deadline for the same and the links are still open and valid till 1 am in the morning so anyone who is interested to participate in the zeal can just go on to unstop which was formerly known as d2c or dare to compete and you can type in there for smhrd zeal you can even scan this particular qr code or go on to the link in the chat box and you will be good to go it's just a 2 to 3 minutes uh, long uh, application form and uh, we'll be hosting the quiz for the same tomorrow that is on 18th so we have uh, we are having a large number of uh, candidates from all around the world uh, we have a great deal of representation as well so yes uh, if you register for the same you stand at a very good chance to get into the shoe of a mba grad to uh, analyze a particular case study first of all you get a chance to attempt the snap mini snap mock so this will be if not the case study if you don't reach the case study down well in final you'll get a chance to attempt the quiz that is in verse with the snap mock and it will also add on to a preparation so if not for the case study you can go on for the snap mock itself if you do really well then you stand at a very good uh, chance of getting into the case study presentation round as well so bugger off guys just hurry up and register for snap we have the qr code on the screen and you can take up the link from the chat box as well uh, i'd like to take up a question by deekshita she asks that can you please tell me how many colleges we need to apply while registration uh, so deekshita snap uh, is a uh, exam by the symbiosis international university and uh, under siu we have 15 different colleges that you can apply to but definitely uh, scmhrd being one of the top 20 b schools Uh, should definitely be on your list of applications for the same okay so another question i'd like to take take up is by mazuban tawadia so mazuban asks is the quiz for cmhrd wheel 4.0 tomorrow so mazuban uh, i'd like to say that uh, you can check your email and you would get regular updates with respect to the same uh, the quiz would be held tomorrow uh but you can check uh, the details on your email id that is study email id and uh, any updates with respect to the same would be communicated to you guys so if you will have any further questions you all can type it in the chat box or uh, we'd be happy to answer any and all of your queries with respect to snap scmhrd or our personal experience 
uh, you know, when we were preparing for all these management entrance exams over the course of the last year. So, uh, you know, any questions, we'd be very happy to answer. So please go ahead. Okay, so Snehadeep asks that he's registered for the Zeal 4.0 but hasn't gotten any further update. Uh, so Snehadeep, uh, as Jatin mentioned, that the registration deadline has been extended till today, end of day. So the quiz for the same will be conducted uh, tomorrow and you will receive uh, an email reminder for the same. And also please stay tuned to the Unstop page where you have registered as the timings for the quiz will be displayed over there. And uh, Ashish has asked, please tell something about score versus percentile. Uh, so Ashish, I cannot comment on that for this year because as I mentioned earlier as well, you know, the exam is different every year. But last year, uh, anything on the upside of 40 out of 60 would uh, be a good percentile, would uh, get you a good percentile to get into top college. Uh, we have a question from Angana. Her question is that, I hold an engineering degree and want to pursue my MBA in finance. What extra preparation do I need to do? Well, Anjana, uh, I would uh, say that when you get into SMHRD, what kind of preparation you have or not, the professors over here are just well equipped enough to gauge a particular person and uh, have the particular line of study in such a way that it is accessible to all particular person, be it be a fresher to that particular specialization or an experienced person in that particular uh, specialization. Uh, so if you consider and if you are willing to give a particular large uh, amount of time for the preparation uh, into finance, if you get into before you get into uh, uh, MBA into finance, so I would particularly say that you should be well versed with the uh, newspaper uh, uh, newspapers uh, related to news related to the uh, economic condition of all particular countries around the world. You should be familiar enough uh, about the equities and the mutual funds and the stocks and the options, uh, their functions, how they operate and what are the standings out of there. What are the basic uh, knowledge about uh, finance like uh, what is a particular uh, for example what is bond and what is equity what is capital these particular things if you are interested then you can invest your time in learning that uh, uh, those all but uh, if not then uh, you just enter into SMHRD and uh, we have our professors guiding you all into this uh, I'd like to take up a question by Phoenix is asked what is benefit of we okay so first round the first round benefit is that it's like a mini snap examination so uh, you know today there are 30 questions similar patterns one mark one question and you know same uh, pattern it will help you actually get a kick start into how the snap examination actually is case presentation and case study submission so it's been three months here since like we all of us are here first year students right and case studies are like the major very important part of our mba life so getting a head start into that would really, really help you to actually, you know, get to know about the case studies and how it, it is done during MBA and after that while you are working as well in the corporate sector. And uh, let me tell you that our previous year winners, you can uh, check out our Instagram as well. Our previous year winners are currently studying at IIM Bangalore and the first runner-up from IFT Delhi and the second runner-up is our batchmate herself. So you can actually see that the the people who give this uh, case study combo, who actually enroll for Zeal, have uh, you know done really well in it, and it will be really beneficial for you. And if it is a TV pointer as well, since it's a national level case study competition, it will actually add a lot of value to your. Guys, you can check the testimonials of uh, you know the winners of uh, last year's Zeal 3.0. Or uh, you can also follow us on Instagram. The link for the same will be posted in the chat box. Uh, you can view the testimonials on their experience with Zeal. I think uh, that should, uh, you know, uh, make your decision even more. Uh, you know, you should you should be able to register for Zeal after watching that video. I think that should inspire you enough. Uh, 
Yeah. We uh, yeah we have a question from Harsh Shukla that uh, he had just checked the website of SMHRD for infrastructure development and management course, and it's just mentioned that uh, we should be an that a person should be an engineering background, and not in specifically civil. Uh, so yes, Harsh, uh, the infrastructure development and management program uh, expects you to be an engineer that to in uh, a civil uh, background itself but uh, i would particularly say that that's another myth that is to be debunked uh, in the current uh, group that we have for infrastructure development and management we have a great pool of engineers ranging from mechanical to civil we also have uh, non engineers from architecture background as well we have our fellow representative rohan in our admissions and pr team who is an architect with an work ex of 1.5 years so if you are uh, uh, if you are not an engineer from a civil background then yes you can apply for the uh, same course as well and i think you stand at a very good ground to get if given that you uh, do well in your snap and gpi what rounds you stand at a very good ground of converting as well Uh, Abhishek Pratap Singh asks that uh, how is the hr placement i specifically want to do mba in hr Uh, so abhishek uh, as an hr uh, you know as a person from the hr stream itself uh, i think i can answer this uh, i can tell you that uh, you will receive great uh, you know mentorship from faculty when it comes to the hr specialization and all other specializations per se uh, even the placement reports specialization wise are mentioned on our website uh, so please feel free to check them and uh, apart from you know just faculty will get the chance to participate in a lot of hr based case study competitions uh, and also you know quizzes and other events so it will be very holistic uh, i would say it will be a very holistic experience to be a part of the human resource specialization uh, at an institute of such repute uh, and uh, yeah you can definitely safely choose scmhrd for hr but also for other specializations as well Okay, guys. Um, I think we'll uh, you know move on to the next slide. So we want to thank you. We want to thank everyone for their time and for taking the time out of their busy schedules to join us here live on YouTube. Um, also, we would also urge you to follow us on all our social media platforms that I mentioned below on Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook. Uh, if you have any doubts with respect to the SNAP exam, uh, you all can email us at communications at scmhrd.edu, and we would be very happy to take up any of your queries and concerns. Uh, so now moving on to the part where you all were waiting for the winners of the quiz. Uh, so the winners of the quiz um, at first place is Ashish Mishra, second place is Ayush Padni, and third place is Samriddhi Pandey. Um, so guys, I'll just repeat the winners once. Uh, first place Ashish Mishra, second place Ayush Padni, and third place is Samriddhi Pandey. Uh, so guys, you all can actually uh, DM us on Instagram. Uh, our Instagram handle will be posted in the chat box. Uh, upon DMing us, uh, please, uh, you know, mention your name as well as your email address. Uh, our Instagram handle is admissions underscore pr dot scmhrd as mentioned on screen. Uh, we extend our heartiest congratulations to the winners, uh, and we would also like to wish uh, everyone here on our stream the best of luck for all your entrance exams and all your management exams. And we hope to see you on campus at scmhrd very soon. So uh, goodbye and Godspeed. All the best, guys. All the best, everyone. All the best, All everyone. Best.